What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some standard action. We're going to be playing some standard. I'm not sure what we're going to be playing. We'll figure it out as we go. You guys probably know already because the, the video you're watching is on YouTube and has a title. So we figured it out by that point. So it's weird that you guys know and I don't at this moment. Bant Flash is a deck that I brewed up. This is one of the first decks I brewed up when, um, when the format was new. And uh, there's a lot of Bant Flash decks that actually have been doing well, like 5-0 in the queues. And here's a, here's a deck that uh, has three Hydroid Crassus, four Frilled Mystic, and two Angel of Grace. Uh, my deck has two Hydroid Crassus, four Frilled Mystic, and two Angel of Grace. So I'm one Hydroid Crassus off here, right? I haven't changed this since since any of the since the format has established itself. Three Teferi, three Teferi. Two Syncopate, one Blink of an Eye. I didn't put Syncopate in, but I did put four Quench in and one Blink of an Eye. Uh, then there's four Gross Spiral, one Negate. I have four Gross Spiral and one more Quench, let's say. Two Absorb. I have three Absorb, and I think it's a better card. Three Chemister's Insight. Three Chemister's Insight. I put no Settle the Wreckage in and no Cleansing Nova. They have both of those. Uh, instead, I think I have an extra Quench and extra Absorb. And I also put three Knight of Autumn because I felt like these were going to be very, very good. Um, have I seen what's going on with Ollie today? No, I don't know what that means. Um... And then we have enchantments, th two seal away and three wilderness reclamation. I have three seal away and no wilderness reclamation. So it actually seems like the deck is basically like what? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I have warrant warden in here instead. It's like another, uh, another, just another way to make a guy or deal with an attacker. So uh, I was actually surprised at how similar my version was to the ones that were played. He's currently in an hour long Nexus loop game. Yeah, they probably want to do something about that card. It is not okay. So, when you when you get to a point where like the opinion on a card is generating more controversy than the enjoyment people are getting out of it, Chris Clay is in the chat and has banned the opponent for 24 hours. What did the... Wait, was it the... Wait, what? why did the... Why did he ban the opponent? What did the opponent do specifically? <laughs> oh, man. The OP has no win cons, so like, is that bannable though? I don't understand any of that. That's really confusing. Anyway, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy this little the little sidebars we have here. Uh, I'm trying to look for a deck to play here. We got a Rakdos mid range deck. Is that any good? No, too much red. Untitled deck. I'm really... Wilderness Reclamation also seems like a very unfun card that's showing up a lot. Uh, which is kind of awkward. I really don't think it should be in all of these decks. Like, it just makes... It, I don't know. It's a weird card. Like, Prophet of Crufix was 5 mana, and it was a creature, so it was much more um, manageable, right? Like, you can just Lightning Bolt it, you can do whatever. The necessity of repeated top activations to play the card slows down match play and leads to tournament delays. Coupled with the power of the Miracles deck, this is reason enough for us to take action. Therefore, Sensei's Divine Top is banned in Legacy. <laughs> so topical. Uh, replace Legacy with Standard and uh, Sensei's Divining Top with Nexus of Fate. And uh, it was pretty close matches and, wouldn't, and I wouldn't have won unless I top decked an End Razor, which I did and hit for a million with Elves, but that banned deck. It's just obnoxious. I mean, it's just not a fun deck to play against because, like, the fact that it just keeps getting cycled in and Search for Escanta. I think Search for Escanta is one of the biggest problems because, especially with Wilderness Reclamation, you get to go Search for Escanta, look at the top four. Oh, no, I didn't hit. Untap all my lands. Float whatever mana I have left. So, I have, let's say I have four, four, my, four more mana in the pool. Search for Escanta again. And... Oh, I hit an Excess of 8 because I've looked 8 cards deep now. And then I get to draw my card for the next turn. So each turn you're looking 9 cards deep 
for your four copies of Nexus of Faith that never leave the deck. And that's kind of weird. It's not weird. I mean, it's just it's just obnoxious, right? I just don't think it's a I don't think it's a fun archetype. Maybe I'm crazy. Wilderness Reclamation is also nuts because, yeah, you can tap like, oh, let me tap seven mana. Untap my lands. Let me tap seven more. I'll expansion explosion you for ten. And I'll draw ten cards. And it's just like, all right, well. I don't know. Reclamation stage seems really obnoxious. I don't know what we're playing, guys. Anybody have any decks that they want to play? Any suggestions? Rakdos Aristocrats? I like this. I really like the gate deck. I think it's real close. I don't think it's there yet. I think it's real close. But I don't think it's like it, it's it's very easily disruptable. God, any deck that has, like, Nexus in the title, Bant Nexus, I'm just like, eh, I have no desire to open this, play this, or play against it. <laughs> it's just so miserable. I don't mind control decks. Like, control decks are cool. Wow, hey, you got you got, you got got counter spells? That's cool. You use a one-for-one. One. You play a counter spell, I'll play my spell, and then eventually I'll stick something and we're done. But, like, once you just auto-win on turn, like, seven or eight or whatever, like, it's really hard to be okay with that. It's obnoxious. Yeah, net decking definitely didn't kill magic. Here, let me let me let me actually here's a here's a thing I wrote about net decking. All right, we're going to go into net decking. If anyone ever here here we go here's our here's our net decking rant and and this was written years ago so if the writing is worse I apologize if anyone ever had an unkind word to say about net decking I would like to direct you to the following paragraphs and this is just what I this is my this is my preface for the fact is whenever you might try to come up with a unique strategy you have to ask yourself if you're using the best tools at your disposal if you have enough awareness and are honest enough with yourself to realize you are not then you might reevaluate the tools you've chosen right like if I'm like hey is demystify the best option for my deck for dealing with enchantments it's not. There are better options. But if you like Demystify and you can't separate that part of yourself where you're like, I really enjoy this card versus it's the best card, then you're going to have a problem. Right? So as long as you're honest with yourself and you're like, no, this is not the best card. Let me put the best card in my deck. If you do that, you shouldn't have a problem with net decking. And here's why. Once you do that, you start replacing the subpar tools with your, with more efficient and powerful tools. Eventually, your unique rogue strategy, you're like, hey, this is my pet deck. I didn't net deck it. I created it myself. Um, if that's true, then you're playing with subpar cards. Right? So, your unique rogue strategy, eventually you get to a point where you're like, hey, my rogue strategy is actually a net deck now. Because I'm playing the best cards. I'm not playing my, my, my pet cards that I think are fun. I'm playing the best cards that give me the best chance of winning. The reason is because you choose to use good cards instead of cute cards or pet cards. There's nothing wrong with this. It's simply the natural progression of deck building. If the collective consciousness of magic didn't naturally find the best deck or the best cards over time, then it would, be, then it would more often be the result of not looking hard enough or denying that certain cards or certain combinations of cards are simply better than others. The only way you're not going to get to net decks is if you don't look hard enough. The only reason it was more interesting and more fun in the early days is because you just didn't have all the information. So you're basically saying that like being willfully or or even like 
unintentionally ignorant about all the cards and all the all the combinations of cards is more fun. And maybe that's true. But, like... <laughs> And I go on and say, are you really going to run... Like, this was back when uh, Innistrad Standard was, was happening. Are you really going to run Vorapede over Thrag Tusk? If yes, why? Thrag Tusk is a better card against both the control decks because it leaves a body when it dies. Even if it leaves the battlefield, if it gets bounced, Vorapede does not. And it's better against the aggro decks because it gains you life. When you start getting trounced by the aggro decks and Vorapede doesn't save you, you're going to be like, oh, what should I put in here in instead of this Vorapede? I'll put a Thrag Tusk in because it's a better card. When your Hound of Gristlebrand, that's like a 4-mana with double strike, 4-mana 2-2 with double strike or something, uh, isn't working out for you, you're going to realize that the second body and the 2-life from Huntmaster of the Fells is just a better 4-drop. Eventually, we wind up with Jun Midrange because we're being honest with ourselves about what cards give us the best chance of defeating the largest number of decks and opponents. Does this mean we shouldn't innovate? God, no. I'm the biggest advocate I know of innovation and the brewing of rogue decks. I love it. But what it does mean is that we're doing ourselves a disservice when we lie to ourselves about what cards are better or worse than others. Can you play Archon of the Triumvirate over Angel of Serenity? Of course you can. But you should definitely acknowledge that the Angel is a more powerful card. <laughs> and if you don't come to that conclusion on your own, someone else will. Because thousands of players are trying thousands of combinations at all times. And if someone else does come to that conclusion and you're still choosing not to play it because of that, if you're saying to yourself, you know what, I see the results of this card being better. I see it's a better card, it's a stronger card, it has more applications. If you can see that, and you're still choosing to use the worst card, you're just stubborn. You're only making it harder on yourself by denying yourself the resources at your disposal, simply to prove that you're completely unique. The only thing you will uniquely do is lose more matches than the players who are playing established decks, because they are established. Again, this is not an attempt to dissuade you from innovating. I'm simply suggesting you stop judging, judging those who skip the middleman. Not everyone has the time to be the next deck genius that they want to... They, they just want to play magic. Like, not everybody has time to be like, Man, I need to sit in my room for a hundred hours and figure out the best deck in standard and disregard all the information that is at my disposal to do so. Like, no one has time to do that. You know? So it's like... If you only find fun in magic when like it's completely new and unique and you don't have all the information, I, like that time doesn't exist anymore. Like we have the internet now, like it's never going to happen again. You know, I mean, and yet we are recording this and we still have not played a match of magic. So hopefully you guys are all right with that. But sometimes people just want to, hey, I want to play magic this weekend, but I don't want to lose every round. So I'm just going to find a deck that someone has put time and effort into and I'll play that. No one has time to, like, you, you can't expect people to just, like, start from scratch every single every single event or every single format. And not, you know, not build off the, the shoulders of others, you know? Like, it just doesn't make sense. It's not, that's not just Elias stuff, though. It doesn't even make any sense. I hate when there's a new, there's a new league up and I don't know what to play. And I'm just like, none of these decks seem exciting to me. I'm just looking for something that stands out to me. Something that just hits me. And it doesn't exist, guys. It doesn't exist. So, what I think we're going to do... God, I just don't want to deal with... I don't really want to deal with... Uh, I really don't want to deal with the uh, Nexus of Fate. Let's play this Abzan mid-range deck. Let's try this guy out. This deck was fun. I played it the other day. It didn't do well. It lost like a round, but it's also 5 out of league. 4 Dusk Legion Zealot, 4 Orozov Enforcer, 3 Cast Down. Oh my god, gifting a sub to Adelias Official? No, why would you do this? 1 Revival Revenge, which I'm a big fan of. Double your life total, target opponent loses half their life rounded up. 2 Find Finality, which is great. 4 History, 4 Midnight Reaper, 2 Mortify, 1 Johnny, 4 Seraph of the Scales, 3 Varaska Golgari Queen, 2 Lyra, and 1 Varaska Relic Seeker. So, I... We'll see how this does. We have four Duress, two Consecrate, Consume, four Night of Autumn, two Kai's Wrath, one Lyra, two Eldest Reborn. So. Let's give that a go. And... Is this it? I can't see the name. I literally... Oh, we gotta scroll down. Okay, I was like, why can't I see the name? Oh, wait, cancel. I don't know what we're... I don't know what we picked here. So, I just want to make sure we pick the right thing. Play... Traditional ranked, perfect. We, we did it. 
And I'm gonna do one more thing, and I'm gonna cancel again. Oh, I guess I'm not gonna cancel again. Okay, seems good. Oh, one lander, gotta go. All right, well, it's two lander, but we got a Dust Legion Zealot, so maybe it's a, maybe it's a three lander. Now it's a three lander. We're gonna play like basic into basic. It seems good. Oh, a little Terramander. Ooh, I like the science and medicine comparison. That's a really good one, actually. That's like being like, hey, don't net deck your, your vaccine, your your uh, your prescription medication. Come up with it by yourself. Like, it's weird that Magic all of a sudden is the one game where you're like, hey, man. Start from, start from scratch. Elk tears, dude. <laughs> Why? Why are you like this, my dude? What are their answers for creatures in this deck? I don't actually know. What are you talking about? Oh my god, look, he logged in. Guys, he logged in from another account, look at him. He's on his phone and his Mac right now. He's doing, oh my god. This is amazing. Sweet Tempest Gin. Ba ba da. Please attack, it's gonna work. Boom, 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 oh, you lost. Burr, 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 burr. I wish I had some... Oh, sup, Elias. Congrats on getting subbed. Wow, this is amazing. Wow. I smell and elk. Wow, this is amazing. I'm just really impressed with the entire uh, the entire operation you got going here. This is just fantastic. I hate you all. Oh god, I'm so actually I'm actually amazed. Like I can't believe I was there for when this meme was born. What a what a time. Actually we could have find finality up. Uh let's do no attacks the next turn we're just gonna go ham, I think. Or we go ham the turn after. I don't know. I love when two totally different and unique people find each other. Same. Me too. Me too. Just Elias stuff. Yep. F M F made a new F made a new buddy? What does that mean? I have no idea what that means. Elias, where are you based? Oh my god. <laughs> my god. Who talks like this? No one talks like this. This is why you direct movies and you don't write them, because this is this dialogue is actually cringy. Oh my god. <laughs> uh create a white and yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. I realize. Burr burr -der. Let's see if you want to counter. Oh, you dove down real, real good. What do you got? Three blockers? So you're going to block these three. You'll take three, but then all you guys die. Yeah, it seems good. HBU. Wow, using an HBU? <laughs> God. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. 
I'm cringing. I'm getting my cringe here, guys. This is a cringe city. <laughs> Have you ever been? Yeah, a few years back. <laughs> It's like reading, like, the worst dialogue ever. Oh, God. God, I love Tempest Gin. This is actually one of the least fun decks, I think, that exists in the standard metagame. Uh, just want to be clear about that. Bring in these two. Take out... Actually, I kind of like this just to get rid of Tempest Gins. Doesn't seem terrible. Uh, let's get rid of that. We'll bring in Consecrate. I mean, Frasca does kill things, I guess. Ugh. Get rid of one Zealot one. Actually, Orzhov Enforcer seems pretty bad here. Do you still go to FNM? I have not been to an FNM in months. I tried to fix my car. I forgot to reconnect the brake lines because I didn't look up how to do it properly, but at least I'm not a filthy net decker. That actually, uh, yeah, I like that. I'm game. We don't get that kind of humidity here in Tulsa. Oh, God. attack. <laughs> I'm really tempted to ban Adelias official. Like, <laughs> I'm so close, man. Oh god, I'm awkwardly close. I knew we played one. I just want to make sure. I'm running out of mean dollars. You probably should be. I doubt Barry Mantle is a Barry Mantle who's Sweet Caroline. So this is nice because we can actually go to kill this guy. Okay. Gaining four, attacking for five, seems pretty good. Neil Diamond, Neil Diamond, thank you, Chris. Oh my god. Take it easy on him, he's new, oh my god. Oh my god. 
Mysterious stranger, why? I'm the wrist mod? What do you- do you moderate wrists? So this is just lethal in two? I'll leave the tab open so you still get the- Oh, thanks, man. Analyze official. God. Some guys, you know? Always thinking of- Always thinking of others. Sack this guy. I'll just play another dive down. Is it worth it? I don't know. Oof, you got one blocker, so you block here and take five? I don't understand. I guess you can play a nerd. So you block here, you take three, five. Okay, that was a weird, a weird choice to get rid of the blocker in order to save your attacker, but what do I know? I wonder if Knight of Autumn's, I've actually, Knight of Autumn seems great here. Let's get rid of the Orzhov Enforcers for Knight of Autumn's. Like, the life seems great, the, um... The life seems great, and also the ability to destroy a Curiosity, what do you call it? I don't know what that card's called. Yeah, I figured they would have had a trickster, but I mean, they didn't. Uh, Kaya's Wrath seems pretty nuts here. Second Kaya's Wrath also okay. I have a father daughter dance tonight superhero themes. That's 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 gas. That's gas. Yep, they sacked this guy. That's fine. I mean, there's no way we're actually getting around this, but... I wanted to go as a villain, but my wife nixed that, huh? Well, you could just be the guy that plays all the magic decks that you play. That's basically a villain, right? I hate that they're going to draw another card, but maybe they'll unload a bunch of things next turn. I don't know. Sweet Caroline. Or maybe they just don't play anything else ever again. Huh. All right. I'm just going to play Seraph here. I think their odds of countering a Seraph with the scales is lower. Like, if they have Spell Quell or... Not Spell... Uh, nah, spell Pierce. We can't cast either of these. Sure. So you're going to have four. So this is going to cost four. It's pretty good. I'm pretty sure we block get two one ones. It forces them to almost tap out. And then we can... Gain like six. Seems okay. Yep. Seems 
good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have four. Yeah. Oh, that is actually not what I wanted to do. I pulled it back, but it didn't work. All right. Well. Baby shark. Doo, 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 doo. Wow, Hungry Howie Bot. Treat yourself to the sweet deal of two medium one song pizzas and a Howie cookie for $16.99. What is a Howie cookie, though? Oh, God. Oh, double. Okay. Well. You see. I will Kaya's Wrath now. Or we can wait one more turn. No. One, two, three, four. One, two. Actually, we'll have enough mana to do both next turn. I'll just wait. I don't think they'd have a way to deal with this. Sure. Yep. So, four for two? Seems good. I'm okay with it. You top deck a wizard's report? Essence capture. Okay, sure. Double essence capture? Sure. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we're in top deck mode. It's no bueno. Not gonna hold that. We have no reason to hold that. You got it. So how many curious obsessions are in the graveyard? Three. Yeah. All right. That's good. That means their their engine should be pretty rough here. Do you have another. Oh, thank goodness. I thought, didn't Elias have to leave? Wow. Welcome back, Elias. What a turn. What a twist. <laughs> oh, your fourth Curious Obsession. This is fantastic. You're doing so well. This is just great. I'm so glad you could draw all four in this match. I'm, I'm thrilled. Oh, and a Tempest Gin. Man. Oh, I drew a land. I drew a land. So now we have to decide which we're blocking. The seven power three mana creature or the three three that draws them a card. So seven. Yeah, that's fine. Go to nine, we get two blockers. I mean, we have outs here. Boy, that was a good turn of events though. Curious Obsession into Tempest Gym. Seems good. Find Finality? Oh, cast Down. Oh, and you just threw this! Yay! I'm <laughs> having a good time! Not having a good time. This deck is miserable. I don't even like... I just hate playing against this deck because it's basically Mono Red, but like, if Mono Red was able to draw infinite cards and counter everything you do while putting like 7 fours on the board for 3 mana. Yep, and you draw a sleep. Wow, these draws have been fantastic. Sure. <laughs> fantastic. Congratulations, you are a uh, skilled, skilled magic player. All right, let's keep going.
Let's keep going. I like the mono blue deck, but that's mostly because I have it. I enjoy things that I have. <sighs> I don't love this hand, but I'll keep it because it's got things to do. It has a thing to do. It has literally one thing to do. I'm that filthy net decker who wants the best ones. Yeah, you're... Uh, I'll take three here. Because if we play this guy next turn, or like... Then we can actually just block and draw a card. Ooh, that's good. Baby shark. Alright, now we're both at 16. Sounds good. This is not sustainable. I hope you can, I hope you know. Same. attacks. I'm pretty comfortable with our double history of Benalia versus the single history of Benalia. Is this it? Okay. See you later, Adanto Vanguard. Wow. That is, that is desperation, my dude. Well, that card is... Pretty unbelievable. Did you just find finality? Like, we don't get to save anything, which is really sad. But if this gets to survive, well, it may only make four fours, I guess. But then, like, they're they're gonna go off next turn and have two guys, so we're gonna take four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then we get to deal four, eight, twelve back and kill them. But these guys have vigilance, so well, it's a sorcery, so I can't really wait for the pump. You do not have natural. Yeah, this is fine. A few block here. Oh, they just took it. Seems good. Yeah, that was not ideal. Resplendent Archangel is just really hard to deal with. Yeah, so is Lyra. Magic is hard. Gonna do it. We just need to deal with flyers. Three threes and five fives. And, and three and four fours, I guess. Three fours, whatever. 
Yep, and I'll, I mean, that's great. If my opponent just draws mono bomb rare angels and I just draw lands, I mean, it's significantly harder to win. I don't know if you guys knew that. So. Let's get two Dusk Legion Zealots. Uh, one Vraska. Hmm. I think this is fine. I don't care about the rest. Eldest Reborn's rough because they have tokens and small guys. Kai's Wrath could be good. I'm bringing Kai's Wrath over the cast downs. I don't think cast down is great because a lot of their creatures are legendary, like Lyra, Shalai. Uh, and then the other ones are like either tokens or. Adanto Vanguards, so. <sighs> yeah, Plaza of Harmony and the um the Archangel of the the Plaza Archangel or whatever it's called. The Archangel of the Gates or whatever. That gains you like 16 life. Also pretty good. Yeah, the angel of gain all the lives. That's the one. Archangel of the pizza? Yeah. Also the one. What is this, a zombie? Zombie knight? Ooh, it's a knight? That's nice. Likely not terribly relevant, but a nice, uh... You know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I'm gonna no blocks this because we can attack back. Mm, okay. Lyra Gates Angel, I believe. Yeah, that sounds about right. All these things sound correct. Play you. I presume you're going to either get shocked here or lava coiled. I imagine lava coil is going to be more, uh, more, more accurate. Mm, no, we're going to get a good swing in next turn. Nine you? Deal. Try to Reaper for a Shalai and we drew a card. Rock with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, BioVisionary. Double your life total. I guess we can do that, right? They go to seven. That's all attack. I have a justice strike. Oh, okay. I was not expecting subtle wreckage, but here we are. One of these and one of these. 
We're still at 26, so I'm okay with it. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can also play both of these next time. We can also kill Aurelia next time. Make way for your captain is right. Bo -do 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 -do. Making way for the captain. Alright. Nothing personal. That's a rough one. So they have to block. And they can't pay for it. And these are this guy's lethal now. Okay. So you have to block here, which gives us another card. The grind is real here, guys. The grind is real. Probably gonna win the game, especially because we're in that you know that situation where we just draw lands constantly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've drawn five more lands. I mean, <laughs> all right. Four, four more lands. Only four more lands. Only a tidings worth of lands extra. That's like if my opponent was like, I get a free tidings at the beginning of the game and they're all spells. That's rough. I have no idea why you would, like, you just activate this and slam, right? Yeah, like, not even a question. Hexproof, can't kill this. I guess we have to hope for a way to deal with that. You should leave before I make you disappear. Everyone is expendable. Except me. <sighs> well, they have to block two of they have to block both, so. lands are in this deck my god it's gotta be like 28 lands 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 lands yeah, that's fine she'll go to one Get the flesh wounds. Deck does not seem to have what it takes.
My luck is incredible. It is incredible. 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have drawn six more lands than our opponent has. 1 time find finality. Oh, this is exhausting. How many lands are in the deck? We drew 13 of them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-five. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25. Yep, let's cut one of those. Add another Mortify. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yep, it's 24 lands now. Yeah, this deck does not need... With, with four Dusk Captain, Dusk, Dusk Boys, Dusky Boys. What's up, Kerwit? With four Dusky Boys. Like... I don't think you need 24 lands. I also... Yeah, all right. See, that's what I mean. You just get to play this on turn two. You get to hit your land. I need some food. I should have some dinner. So this is match three, right? We're 0-2 right now. We're just crushing our silver, our silver record. Here we go. We took the 25th land out. So we're ready. We're ready for it, guys. We are ready for it. It's going to happen. You ready? I don't know what Swenson's is. And it happened. Sorry about the games, guys. I would love to give you better games than this, but, uh... <laughs> oh, God. 25 lands? Here's 13. 24 lands? Here's 2. Okay, well, I appreciate your... your consistency, Magic Arena. At least I have one removal spell. Flunk, have a good night, buddy. Oh, well... If only you did that during my turn, I could have revivaled it. That would have been sweet. You counter my revival, getting back a Dusk Legion? Wow, Jesus. Well. Well, they didn't have a counter spell there, so that's good. Oh, here's a Teferi. Here, I'm gonna blame a Teferi. Mumbo's garden. Teferi. Oh, wow. Main phase. Okay, hold on one second. I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go hand off a camera. It's gonna be awkward. I'm probably gonna lose this round, but. Give me one second, guys. I'm gonna pass my turn.
Did we even, did we lose? Are we dead? We have nothing to do here? Let's get rid of this. How many turns did we lose? Are we like way behind? I actually don't know. I can't tell. Okay. Well, we're back. Hey, look, it's the Teferi that we were talking Trust about. Me. You'll thank me later. Hold that thought. This deck doesn't have Vraska's Contempt. That's pretty rough. Hmm. Well, I don't think we have any way to deal with the Teferi outside of, like... Me to phase you out of time. Do you want me to phase you out of time? Is that what you'd like? Hurry. Let's just count Lance, see how many turns he missed. Yeah, there's no way to do it. Oh wow, just though, is this a main phase, main phase chromium? Fascinating. Well, I have no way to deal with that. I guess this gets, this gets the things, right? Does that happen every time you activate an ability? Fascinating. Like, we could have kept Death Touch up, but, like, we're not going to get ahead if we don't play things to the board, I think. Oh, look at my fancy Teferi. This isn't a fight you can win. Can you craft this one? I have to assume you can, right? All right, yeah, we're just going to continue here. Okay, so... Cast down is pretty terrible. This is not great here. Uh, Eldest Reborn is good. Duress is good. Orzhov Enforcer, not great. I don't want to hear your boring Banalia War story again, Grandpa. Frank, in case I don't return and don't, in case this, uh, this is in case I return and don't mind. Thank you for the fun in the afternoon, even though I usually have to mute you because of the job. I do enjoy every, thank you, Jen. I really appreciate it, buddy. You have been a great addition to the stream. Really appreciate it. Consume isn't bad. You're not bad. Got him. God. What's it like to get wrecked that? It's got to be rough to get wrecked that badly, right?
you get your hair cut? Like, two weeks ago. So, I mean, yes, at some point I did. I did indeed get my hair cut. It was a while ago. Are we going to 0-3 with this deck? Are we 0-2 or 0-3? We're 0-2 right now, right? This is the third match. Third match arena. Yes, give me all the lands. No lands or all lands. Keep them. I don't want any. I don't want any kind of normalized distribution of like lands and spells. I want either all lands and nothing to do in the middle turns, or no lands whatsoever. Anything else, and I'm actually having a good time. So let's prevent that. Let's avoid that situation. <sighs> all the lands. It's okay. Maybe we can draw like three spells in a row. Three spells is what we're looking for. Three spells in a row. And then we're still only... Mm, okay, well. It's hard to tell if the deck is terrible because none of these hands are indicative of none of these matches. Like against the Boros deck, we took it to game three. Why would we go back to 25 lands? We have literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands and two spells. Like against the Boros deck, we took it to game three, and if we didn't flood out and draw literally 13 lands. I don't understand. Like. I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to figure out like, oh, I get it. Okay. I get it. I understand. Like, I do want some number of Vraska's Contempts in this deck, but I think the Revival Revenge is a little too cute. Like, I don't think it, I like it a lot. But you never, like the Revival part's not that great and the Revenge, man, maybe it's fine. I don't know, man. We're not drawing anything. Like, we have so many. We have four Seraphs, three Vraskas, and one of Johnny. Like, this is like eight good four drops, and we're, we're, we're drawing them very infrequently. I'm just going to keep it as is. I don't think we're getting a, a reasonable way to, like, to determine that the deck is good or bad. Like, it's actually kind of frustrating. <sighs> this I will keep because we have two playables before turn three. And if we don't hit lands, Game on.
Let it resolve. You don't have a counter spell. You clearly have a dive down now because magic has given you the slow. Why do they have these fires and I can't interact with them? What's that about? Oh, you have an opt as well. Maybe that's it. I say we take out all lands and replace them with spells. You know what? I am not opposed. It's incredible. Incredible. Do your wizards retort this? Sure. You know what? Sure. Cool, draw two cards. Draw two cards. Oh, man. We're having a good time, ladies and gentlemen. A good time is being had by all. Get him! Never happening. Okay, you got it. <sighs> I also think the Arena Shuffler has issues, but it's so hard to say that when you're dealing with randomness. It's so hard to be like, yeah, but, you know, that's just how true randomness is. And you're like, all right, I guess. Six, seven, eight. So we're dead if these kill us. The problem is, oh, we're just dead. Like, this isn't even a fun game. They have two spells in the graveyard, so these guys cost six, and they just play land, activate, and then we're dead. I mean, it can't be countered, but like, what does what does targeting one obsession do? Like, oh, they only have well, now it's a two-two unblockable. They only draws them one extra card a turn. Like, the the point is, none, none of these decisions are actually going to have an impact on the game. You're dead if anything kills you by definition. That sounds accurate. I uh, I think that's correct. Wrath, Wrath, Lyra. Fifty Yard deck has eight point zero six five eight one seven five to the sixty seven different permutations. A sixty card deck has more. It's super yeah, that's that's what I mean. Like you could be like, well, but I'm drawing a lot of lands than no lands, and they're like, Yeah, but that's just true random. It's really hard to tell if it's like broken. Borked, if you will. It's 
see if we can ever drop. We, now we have two really good four drops. Let's see if we can hit a four drop here. They can counter this if they want. This is non-token, so it actually doesn't interact with this. Or any of the afterlife creatures. Wizard's retort, you see. Mm, yes, I will count it. I know my wizard's retort. Okay. You win. You are a winner. But can you explain why kids love life cereal? Is that what it is? Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Four, five, six. So they can't do it this turn. I'm back, what did you miss? Uh, we went, we're 03 right now and we're, we're going to game three. What's happening? I don't even understand. I didn't understand it either. Keep. Seems okay. Hold on one second, guys. Doing a thing. Let's go, Chappy. So we even play it. Like we just cast down this guy immediately. It's not gonna do anything, right? The problem is they never play Curious Obsession until they can actually save their guy.
Another spell pierce? Man, if we hit a land here, that'd be gas, but that's not how magic works. One time. Maybe, maybe some other time. I mean, you could just put chicken nuggets in a bowl if you want. I agree with this. This is actually true. You can just put chicken nuggets in a bowl. Can they sack it? They can. Let's see if they. Seems good. Thankfully, we. Thankfully, we're not hitting our land drops because otherwise we will actually play around a lot of this stuff. But I'm kind of grateful that we're not because I like the challenge of uh, always being just a little bit behind. Just a little bit behind. Still coming in to play tapped. So you have five spells. I assume they're all spells. So five, six, seven, eight. You have exactly enough. But we can cast down if you activate. We could also just Kaya's Wrath here. And that might be better because we have... I don't think there's any world where you actually do that, though. So we're going to play Lyra because the odds of them having a negate or a spell pierce are higher than a wizard's retort, but that's also an option. Hmm. Well, are we dead here? Five, six, seven, eight. Yep, this is, should be Xaxes. Oh my god, really? We're at five, and this is a five, five. All right, well... Sometimes you get lucky, I guess. Counter this. <sighs> okay, we did it. So they go block, block. Yeah, they're only gonna block one. They're probably gonna go to one here. We gain less life, but they should have nothing left. <sighs> we wanted to bait that out so that if they had a two mana counter spell like a negate, that they didn't actually get to cast it. Back a Lyra and I guess the other creature in our graveyard. They're at one. All right, this might this might be good enough. Feeling okay about it. This guy's lethal. <laughs> 
Essence Capture, your last card. Wizard's Retort was the last card. Fascinating. Here comes Tempest Gin. Ooh! Ooh, we did it, boys. All right. Well. Oh, rank up. Back to where we were. Back to where we were. And then, well, all right. I don't even know what to say about this deck. Anyway. I'm going to call it right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving yet. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for the uh, for the, for the the views. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can also uh, check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.